Welcome back, Love Nation. This is Nina. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you to everybody that has been coming to my channel. Like this video, share this video, and hit that notification bell so you know when I drop my next one. We are going to get straight into it. We are talking about the Tory Lanez verdict, which is coming down today. I'm sorry, not the verdict, the sentencing. And I'm going to just go over a few facts for you guys before we announce the verdict. Just to rewind tape a little bit, Tory Lanez was convicted of the July 12, 2020 incident in which Megan Thee Stallion says that she was injured in her feet in the early morning hours of Hollywood Hills, California, after they all left a get-together at Kylie Jenner's house. The evidence saying that Tory Lanez is guilty has been questioned by several of his fans, but um, prosecutors um, went ahead with this case a few months after the incident, and he was found guilty. Now, the sentencing has been delayed several months. I believe he's been to court several times. His current lawyer, Jose Baez, you guys know him from the, um, what was that, that, that girl from Florida case, uh, with the baby. That's what, um, Jose Baez is known for. I believe Jose Baez was also involved in the Trayvon Martin, um, case also. I, I believe you guys leave comments below if I'm incorrect with that information. Anyway, Jose Baez is looking for a probation saying that he would benefit from the therapy for his alcoholism and childhood trauma by going to um, therapy to assist him with the problem. However, the prosecutors in this case are saying that because of what he was convicted for, along with the nature of the offense, they want him to serve at least 13 years. This is according to what was you know, sent was handed to the courts in sentencing recommendation. It was a 41-page document, and this is a whole mess. This is going down in downtown L.A. at their um, courthouse, the criminal courthouse in downtown L.A. Again, Tory Lane's lawyer request, requested probation, and the prosecutor, I believe his name is Mr. Wellborn. I'm sorry, it might not be Wellborn. I'm going to have to look into it again. Um, is looking for a 13-year sentence. Okay, now we are going to get into the sentence. Now that you guys are all caught up on that information. As far as sentencing, we are on day two of sentencing watch, and a lot of people had a lot of questions concerning this, as well as a lot of comments. So I'm definitely going to make something clear here. Whether you agree with how long the sentencing is taking as this being uh, the beginning morning of day two, which will start at 1030 Eastern, I'm sorry, 1030 Pacific time, 130 Eastern today couple facts I definitely want you guys to know about. First of all, what's going on is completely legal. Um, witnesses or people coming forward to be a character witness for Tory Lanez and having letters and making statements directly to the court during citizen is definitely legal. There are 70 plus people, um, including um, ex-rapper Iggy Azalea, whom brought uh, character witness statements to support Tory Lanez and, you know, his character. Um, it's all legal because everyone has a right to speak. This is also a public hearing uh, with the state versus the state of California versus Tory Lanez. And whether you agree with it or not, Jose Baez is doing his job as a lawyer trying to sow some doubts with whatever sentencing the judge may be thinking about imposing. So whether you agree with how long this is taking or not, this is definitely legal. And honestly, um, 
this does make him a very strategic lawyer doing so, bringing out all of these different people, which is not only dragging out the sentencing, but giving more of a character, a positive life about Tory Lanes. Now, again, the defense is going for probation. The prosecutors want at least 13 years. That was spelled out in a 41-page document. Um, I actually don't want to make a set prediction about how much time he could get. However, what I'm thinking personally is maybe no more than five to seven years. Uh, if he got more than five to seven years, I would be shocked. Also, if he only got probation, I would be shocked. So I know that those are two different conflicting statements, but I definitely don't think he's going to just per se be let out today with time served. However, if he got more than seven years, I would be shocked. So anywhere between seven and below is what I'm thinking. Um, the judge could weigh other factors if Tory Lanes has more of a criminal background, which honestly, I'll just speak up and say, I am not sure if he actually has an official criminal background on record. So if you guys want to leave something in the comments, please do. I do remember that August Alcina incident. However, that incident, I do not even believe was actually charged. Okay, I do not actually think Tory Lanez was actually charged for the August Alcina incident. Um, but the judge could weigh factors such as what Tory was doing after this incident happened um, to play into a role in sentencing. And I'm just thinking um, off the top of my head with other cases that I've covered and I've seen. So those are my predictions. Again, to just recap, we are going into day two of the sentencing watch, which starts at 10.30 a.m. Pacific time, which will be 1.30 p.m. Eastern time. All right, so we're definitely watching out for that. Um, this case has definitely divided a lot of people. Um, this is a mess, okay? I'm just going to say it. This case is, is a mess. There's a lot of things, la layers, and levels to this case that I thought was just, um, just really sad. Um, you know, I, I just, I'm trying not to put my own bias in this. I'm just trying to report what I'm seeing. So I definitely, definitely want to hear how you guys feel about this case. We will be going back to, um, Sentencing Watch, in a few hours for the Eastern Time Zone, which again will be at 1.30. I will come back and make another video as soon as the sentencing is officially announced. So I don't know if this will take another full day. I don't know if this will wrap. That's only up to the courts and how many more witnesses need to be put out forth, as well as some other matters that need to be um, discuss, uh, in court after the witnesses speak from what I'm hearing. So there are still things that need to happen after the witnesses, uh, character witnesses speak during the sentencing hearing. Um, so there's definitely a lot of moving parts. There's no telling how long this actually may take, but all of this that is going on actually is legal. Um, defendants are, you know, they are, able to have these different things put in their proceedings and Tory Lanez is definitely paying a big penny to have Jose Baez. So that's my opinion on what's going on. These are also the updates. Like I said, I'm just trying to bring you guys the facts that we know about. I don't want to turn this into if he's guilty or not because he's already been found guilty. We just have to allow this to play out in court and just try not to make this matter um, about our personal feelings toward this case. Um, so again, share your opinions below. This is definitely going to divide the internet today. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, you guys, be safe and enjoy your day.
Bye, guys.